हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम शुभाज वर्के इन टूडे सेशन ऑफ एम के टी वन 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 वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट वट इज एन ग्रेडिंग सेशन फ्लो विल बी लाइक मीनिंग एंड डेफिनेशन फॉर ग्रेडिंग्स देन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रेडिंग्स देन एडवांटेजेस ऑफ ग्रेडिंग फॉर फार्मर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड कंज्यूमर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो वी गिन विथ मीनिंग एंड डेफिनेशन फॉर ग्रेडिंग ग्रेडिंग मीन्स द सॉर्टिंग ऑफ अनलाइक लॉट्स ऑफ प्रोड्यूस इन टू द डिफरेंट लॉट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्वालिटी स्पेसिफिकेशन मार्क लाइक साइज शेप कलर्स विच आर लेट डाउन इन अ स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन प्रोसेस सो सिंपली ग्रेडिंग इज एन प्रोसेस फॉर सॉर्टिंग और डिवाइडिंग ऑफ अनलाइक और अन इवन लॉट्स इन टू द डिफरेंट लॉट्स एज पर द क्वालिटी स्पेसिफिकेशन लाइक साइज ऑफ प्रोड्यूस शेप ऑफ प्रोड्यूस then color of produce this quality specifications are laid down in a standardization process or we have another definitions grading is an simply method of dividing the produce into the certain groups or certain lots in accordance with an predetermined standards so simply it is an process for dividing the products into the different groups or different lots as per the predetermined standards then each lot has substantially the same characteristics in so far as the quality is concerns so each grade or each lots having same characteristics if you are going to grade our produce as per the size then the each standard or each grades having the same size under a all commodities are more than the 500 grams then under b is the commodities between 250 gram to the 500 grams then under c is below than the for 250 grams then grading follows standardizations it is an sub function of standardizations so after standardizations grading comes so it is also called as uh, sub function of standardizations once you decide the standards for that produce then you can go for the grading process so it also called as a sub functions or the under function of gradings then what are the different types of grading so majorly we have fixed grading or mandatory gradings or permissive or variable gradings then centralized and decentralized gradings so majorly we have four types fixed gradings variable gradings centralized gradings and decentralized gradings so we'll go go through one by one first one that is fixed gradings or mandatory gradings or we can say compulsory grading also this means sorting out of goods according to the size quality and other characteristics which are fixed in nature so they do not vary with an over time or space or over locations so these standards are compulsory or fixed in natures they are not changing over the times or over the space for the number of agricultural commodities grade standards have been fixed by the agricultural marketing advisers of government of india's and the compulsory to grade the produce according to the these grade specifications which are decided by this dmi on agricultural marketing advisory departments so these standards are fixed by the dmis nowadays nearly about 27 commodities are comes under this fixed gradings so for uh, nearly about 275 commodities uh, grades are decided by the dmi then individuals or any private person are not free to change these standards so these standards are compulsory decided by dmi or any individuals or any individual companies can decide their standards uh, separately so under this fixed gradings process then the use of mandatory grading is an compulsory for export of agricultural commodities if you want to export your produce then you need to need this fixed grading compulsory now so under first type of gradings we have fixed gradings so to for this fixed gradings these standards are fixed in nature 
so these standards are fixed by dmi or directorate of marketing and inspections or it also called as agricultural marketing advisors any individual person can't change these standards and for if you want to export your produce then you need compulsory fixed gradings then permissive or variable gradings by name itself these standards or these grades are vary with an locations persons or time the goods are graded under these methods according to the standards which are vary over the times these standards are changing over the time or over the space or over the person to person also then the grade specification in this case are fixed over the times and space but the change the every year according to the quality produce in that years so these standards can be fixed over the times for the particular years but the but after ending up that years this standard again changes under this methods individual choice for the grading is an permitted so under this method any individuals can decide their standard by own way in india grading by this methods is an not permissible or not allowed it so simply under variable gradings the grades are not fixed in nature these grades are changing over the time over the space or over the locations okay so this grade can be fixed for certain particular years but after ending up that years the grade can be changed so any individual person can decide their own grade own and this kind of grading is not permissible in india then centralized grading by name itself centralized means all forces or all power is concentrated to the one places okay centralized grading under this the authorized packers either set up his own laboratories men by qualified chemist or sick assess of approved grading laboratories set up for the purpose of state authorities cooperatives associations and private agencies so under this centralized uh, gradings any packer or any processors is setting his own laboratories or he is going for under uh, any approved laboratories with an qualified chemist okay means the produce which required the chemical analysis is comes under this centralized grading process okay mainly for the processing items then second one in this system dmi or directorate of marketing and inspections or agricultural marketing advisor exercises the close supervision on gradings work of approved chemist through the periodical inspection of grading stations and quality of grading process so dmi is looking after for this centralized grading process for this purpose they are conducting the periodical inspections or periodical quality control aspects then the products like ghee butter vegetables oil uh, even uh, any process items are comes under this centralized grading process then next next one we have decentralized gradings so decentralized grading is implemented by state marketing authorities or any private person under the overall supervision of and guidance of dmis so these decentralized gradings by name itself the power of gradings are segregated with an various levels for the state agriculture marketing department also then for any private uh, laboratories also so the power of gradings or power of quality controls is segregated into the different levels then this is followed in those commodities which do not require elaborate testings and arrangement for the quality assessments so come some commodities which not required any kind of chemist or any kind of laboratories analysis process and in that commodities this decentralized grading is an followed for these commodities the grade of produce is determined on the basis of physical characteristics or on the basis of appearance of that produce so in those commodities which not require the 
chemical analysis and even by physical looks or physical appearance we can also grade that produce so mainly in case of fresh fruits vegetables eggs cereals pulses so these commodities are graded as per the decentralized gradings so simply decentralized grading is an power of grading is an segregated or divided into the different department or different levels so those commodity which not required chemical analysis or the chemist are comes under this decentralized gradings then commodities are graded as per the physical look or physical characteristics of that commodities some commodities like fresh fruits vegetables eggs cereals pulses means which not required the processing or the produce which are not at processed that commodities can be comes under this decentralized gradings then another types of gradings we have that is uh, very uh, minus that is grading at producer levels sometime the farmer are also going for the grading process so he, he graded as per his knowledge or any kind of producer he grading his uh, as per his knowledge then next one we have advantages of grading what are the advantages of grading why any person or why any farmers supposed to go for this grading process because if he graded his products then there might be possibility to get the higher prices for produce okay he can get more prices or good prices for his produce then graded for grading facilities for marketing functionaries so it facilitate for the various marketing facilities okay for its size color qualities and other grade designations then grading widens the market of products so it allows to produce for transporting that produce from one place to another place okay so overall so if you grade the products then is a possibility to get an good price then grading facilitate for the next marketing functionaries okay like uh, grading follows for uh, follows after the transportation operations then storage operations so it make easy another marketing functions then gradings widen the markets okay after gradings we are going to for transportation so these commodities are moving from your uh, surplus area to deficit area or from your plus area to minus areas okay then uh, to the continuation of advantages grading grading reduces the cost of marketing by minimizing the expenses on physical inspections of produce minimizing the storage loss then reducing the risk of bulk minimizing advertisement advertisement expenses and eliminating the cost of handling and weighing at all so if you have graded your produce as per its size shape or anything uh, any other quality specifications that there might be possibility of uh, cost reductions of for the marketing functions okay if you have graded your produce properly then uh, there is chances of minimum losses or minimum spoilage losses during the storage process okay then grading helps to consumer to get the standard quality products at a fair price so it helps to consumer for getting good quality of products to the final consumers then grading contributes to the market co competitions and price efficiency so it helps for increasing the competition in the marketing and increasing the price efficiency means with an less produce or with an less quantity the produce will get an more prices okay then to the continuation of advantages for, for farmer point of views after grading farmer can get finance for their produce if you have go for the store you know, of that commodities then to get the claim settled by the insurance companies if you have graded that commodities and after grading you have stored uh, stored that commodities and in that uh, in the storing uh, in the process of storing if there is an any kind of losses like any physical losses like uh, the uh, store uh, storehouses ca catches the fires okay so that times the farmers can they get the insurance claims then 
स्टोरेज प्लेस फॉर दे प्रोडक्ट्स सो इट गिव्स द स्टोरेज प्लेस और इट गिव्स इट मिनिमाइज द स्टोरेज पोर्सन प्लेस फॉर द कमोडिटीज देन इफ यू आर स्टोर दैट यूर कमोडिटीज आफ्टर ग्रेडिंग्स देन दैट स्टोर और दैट स्टोर पर्सन कैन गिव द मार्केट इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द फार्मर्स देन टू द फुल द प्रोड्यूस ऑफ डिफरेंट फार्मर्स सो कमोडिटीज कैन बी पुल्ड और कमोडिटीज कैन बी मूव टू द डिफरेंट फार्मर्स देन टू इम्प्रूव द कीपिंग क्वालिटी ऑफ द स्टोर प्रोडक्ट्स बाय रिमूविंग द इन्फेरियर गुड्स फ्रॉम गुड्स सो इट इम्प्रूव द कीपिंग क्वालिटी और शेल्फ लाइफ ऑफ दैट प्रोड्यूस बाय रिमूविंग द इन्फेरियर और बाय रिमूविंग द स्पॉइल आइटम फ्रॉम दैट गुड देन टू फैसिलेट फ्यूचर ट्रेडिंग्स If you want to go for the future tradings, means if you want to go for the contract farming different things, then if you want to go for the sell your commodity at NCDX, that is National Commodity Derivative Exchange, I means uh, same like the share markets. Then this grading facility for the future trading facilities. So these about the today's sessions. Now what we learn today? Today we have seen about what is an grading. So grading is an simply sorting up commodities into the different sorts or different lots as per the quality specifications like size shape or colors or grading can be also defined as method of dividing the products into the different lots so each lots having same predetermined standards then we have seen about types of gradings so gradings can be done in a four way first way that is fix or mandatory gradings so standard under this fix gradings are fixed they are not vary with an locations space or any time then second category that is variable gradings or permissive gradings so these gradings are vary with an time space or locations the grade grading can be fixed for the some specific periods but after that ending that periods that grade can be change then centralized gradings powers of gradings are segregated to the one department or one authorities okay in case of processed item or those commodities which required the chemical analysis are comes under this centralized gradings then fourth one that is decentralized gradings means the power of gradings are divided or segregated in the, uh, into the different levels to the state marketing authorities uh, under the guidance of dmis then any private laboratories those commodities which need not require the processing are comes under this decentralized gradings the last one that is grading at producer levels grading by producer itself then we have seen the various advantages of gradings if farmer grade his produce then there is chance of getting good prices to the farmers then it reduces the store uh, storage losses then it facilitate the next marketing functionaries like transportations then it uh, make the available the commodities at different places that is widening the markets then it helps to the consumers for getting good quality of produce then it avoid the losses during the storage process then uh, for the point of point of view farmers farmer can get the finance against their stored produce if you have graded good quality produce then there is chance for getting insurance insurance for that produce then uh, farmers can get good prices or farmers can get the market informations so this about the today's topic i hope you have understand if not please ask me thank you